fights were a part of Rakum school in the beginning of things. Because when I was very young, I left out my house, I was on the streets. And suddenly, uh, I started the school. I have got no experience of kids and family kind of things. So whatever I'm trying to tell them, they have not been able to work out. So instead of hurting them, I used to leave the school and go somewhere far away for days today. One day my secretary, my ex-secretary, she called me and she told me, why are you leaving this school? That school belongs to you, not to them. And you must sit there. When you don't sit there, when you go, people can talk hundreds of things, try to be there. So you can sort of things. Till then I was thinking, this is not mine. <laughs> of course, nothing is mine. But then the feeling of love, I was thinking, so what I came to do a service, I don't have to get connected to something. Then I sat. That worked out for one day. <laughs> Today, uh, one person came to me and he was telling, I have a beautiful house, car is there. Anything and everything, I, you know, before my wife could ask, I could give them. But she's never satisfied and she's always sick too. Then I said, you are a civil engineer and you saw this gap. If you see this gap in a building, you will immediately shout telling, in that gap, water enters and the building can be broken. So, the gap in the love relationship, the smallest gap happens. And then you can see this kind of fight syrups. When you do not have a love relationship, then they, they say love move mountains, love move oceans. Oceans of problems can be moved, oceans of the mountains will move, our mountains of problems can be moved or only with your love. Have you ever thought of taking your wife's face in your hand? And uh, did you look into her eyes? He said, taking the face and looking into her eyes. Never thought about it. I said, look that. When you don't do that, instead of she and you getting connected, she goes and connects to the hospital. And in the hospital, yin and the yang, positive, that light will fall into the hospital building. And she goes to the religious leaders or to the temple. Temple lights will be burning, but your light will not burn because you and your wife do not have courage. Take your wife's face and look into your eyes, comb her hair. And he said, I never thought about it, like, go and do it. Pamula Parthi Venkata Narasimha Rao. Pamula, I asked my children, what is Pamula Parthi? So they say like Putta Parthi in Andhra Pradesh. Pam, pam, pamula means it is a snake's party, snake's village. So Pivi Narasimha Rao, born on 20th June 1921, Pali. Died on 23rd December 2004 in New Delhi, was an Indian lawyer and politician. So to the ninth Prime Minister of India, Pivi Narasimha Rao said, Anand's father said to him, look son, we have no Lakshmi wealth in the family, ever. We had only one, Dairiya Lakshmi, the wealth of courage. Don't ever forsake her or you will have nothing left to sustain you. That was the courage of Narasimha. Nobody ever taught this silent man just sitting. Can move mountains and oceans. Love can move mountains, but silently you can move all over mountains and without even lifting your finger. And this man proved it. Yes, he proved it. I heard about a Zen story, the greatest swordsman having a problem in his house and no other swordsmen were able to solve the problem. The problem is the rat in the house. He took the sword and tried to hit. And the rat would jump this side or that side, never allowing him to sleep. He went and told so many people, everybody was shocked. The swordsman is suffering with the rat. He couldn't even kill the rat, throw the rat out. So somebody said, get this cat the next door. So he took the, one of the best, toughest looking cat. He put it, put the cat inside. The cat came running back, screaming. And everybody shocked. One cat, two cat, three cat, four, four, several cats. Nobody could catch the rat. And then one person said, there was a very soft looking silent. Why don't you try this? 
such big cats tried, they couldn't do it. What will this cat do? And the last chance he took the cat and left it inside. And within seconds, the cat came back, came out with the rat. The moment the cat went inside, cat did not look left and right. He directly walked. We didn't even look at the rat's eyes. Either. He directly walked inside and picked up the rat. <laughs> Narasimha Rao was of that caliber who created the economic reform. He is the one who found out the pearl. Yes, yes, yes. At the bottom of the ocean, of the Indian Ocean, only one single diamond pearl was lying down. That too, again, a silent which the whole political drama of the ruling party was making fun of this one puppet looking silent sannyasi on the bottom of the ocean, Indian Ocean, which they call it pearls. I couldn't know with the nurse. They say, those who do, do not know to swim are talking or teaching about how to swim. But this man did not even know to swim, did not even dive, but he could take the pearls in his hands. He dived and took the pearl in his hand. And that pearl's name was Manmohan Singh, who changed the whole economic style, which is now moving ahead. Devi Narasimha Rao said, Anand's father said to him, Look, son, we have no Lakshmi wealth in the family ever. Yes, yes. We had only one, the idea Lakshmi, the wealth of courage. That wealth of courage was the family which we have broken into pieces, the joint family which I am trying to talk. That is the courage, not the courage of showing your chest and moving your head and knifing and shouting, standing, walking behind the political leaders and threatening every Tom, Dick and Harry, going to the gym and showing off the, uh, your muscles, driving the car at high speed, building massive big buildings. That was not your strength. That was your weakness. If that was a strength, you would have seen when P.V. Narasimha Rao, Rajiv Gandhi made a lot of noise. But Narasimha Rao, nobody knew. And the whole Indian political drama got shaken by Narasimha Rao. Almost every Indian leader was terribly frightened of this man because the man never spoke. He hardly opened his mouth. And the more things, Everybody knows from 1991 to 1996 how India moved. Narasimha Rao, yes, such was the uh, power. Don't ever forsake her or you will have nothing left to sustain. He said, your diarrhea, what is the diarrhea? Your diarrhea is your courage. And the courage comes from where? Courage will not come only with you. Courage is coming only from you connecting to your family. The yin and the yang, the positive and negative love. Just now I said the husband taking the wife's face, looking right into her eyes, combing her hair, together taking bath. That courage, you have to have the courage to have a bare hug of the tree. And you find that the resistance power of the tree, when you have the, you get the resistance power, the tree too becomes very strong from there you understand if you know to hug the tree you can have the wind have you ever heard you can hug the wind not only really you can hug the we can hug the sunlight too and you become the sun you become the wind you become the tree who can ever stop you that was the power of the silent man is called about courage silently he pushed his roots deep down and he stood tall. No wind in the world could ever touch him. The economic reforms went to him. That is something from that man. Let it be in all the textbooks. Let it be in all the religious books of India. This was our purest religion. The Hindu religion which has taught us this method which P.V. Narasimha Rao has ever demonstrated to this country and to the world and Obama wouldn't keep quiet. He was, uh, he was suddenly became Michael Jackson and he was singing and singing and dancing like Michael Jackson and every song there is only one name. Obama kept on talking throughout his reign. What did Obama talk? What did Obama speak? Non-stop he said Manmohan, 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 sing, sing, Manmohan. The whole world was shocked. He said the India, you, everybody should learn from this silent man about the economic reforms picked up by Narasimha Rao, a person who was not a scuba diver, 
He became a scuba diver to pick up the toys. That was the courage Narasimha Rao was trying to talk. If everybody has understood what Narasimha Rao has done, he thought he having any power. The Congress family was a powerful family. If they shake a little bit of fallen, still he climbed the ladder and he stood there for such a long time. In the sense, five years for 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 a person of Narasimha Rao, such a long time. He shook this whole Indian territory, the whole world. He said, Anand's father said to him, you become a philosopher, can you believe? Only a man of such courage, a philosophy and love can flow from a silent moment. In silence, he understood truth. Silence, he melted with God. And he could feel the pulse of the Indian people. He could hug the Indian people like the wind. He would hug the Indian people like the sun. Cut the in the world and he created light. And he was only hugging wherever he hugs. He moves, there was only light. Look, son, we have no less wealth in the family. We had only one, Dhaidiya Lakshmi, the wealth of courage. Don't ever forsake you or you will have nothing left to sustain. If you have that courage, which disease can come near you? Go back to your family and that was the courage. Build up your joint family. That was the courage. And in the family, you can see the family tree standing tall and the roots deeper like Narasimha That was the only philosophy he had. It. And he was demonstrated to Narasimha Rao, P.V. Narasimha 